What's up guys, this is Prince Mubs and today I'm going to be doing a um, Unity 3D tutorial for part 2. I did part 1 but that was a long time ago and now I'm doing part 2, sorry for the long delay. Okay so here we have our first person controller and here we have a cube and the directional light and clouds. I showed you how to do every single thing in this and the first part so if you, if you don't know then just look at the first video, it's in the description below. <coughs> Okay, so in this one, I'm going to be sh I'm going to be showing you how to attach a gun to the first person controller the correct way. Okay, I'm not going to be using an actual gun. I'm going to be using a model of a cube. To, it, but it's the same. It's the same principles apply with a real model of a gun in the game. Okay, so let's just create um, a cube. So the cube's here. I'm just going to bring it in front of the controller. And um, just going to increase the le length and the uh, height. Okay, this is a bit long, but um, yeah, that's why. Just bring it closer to the camera. If you want to make it good, then you're gonna have to look, make it look as though it's like he's the controller is holding a proper gun. Otherwise, it's going to look, you know, fake and not so appealing. So a gun is like this, a bit tilted and. Yeah, that's about right. Just bring it back. Yeah, that looks good. Just um, that's about okay. Yep. <coughs> yeah. Now what we're going to do is click here. First person controller. The main camera is over there. We're going to attach the cube to the main camera. Now once you do this, you may notice when you run the game the cube interferes with the movement this is because the cube has a collider on so what you need to do is go in cube and remove the box collider and then run there it's like holding a gun if, if it was a proper model of the gun then it would look better but this when it goes up and down and left and right and then you know, you can make the shooting effects and stuff on um, different animation things and just bring the animation in Unity and then create different animations. I might not, um, I won't be showing you how to make the actual animations, but I will be showing you what to do if you have the animations. So, for example, you don't have to have a gun. Say you have an axe, it's like a zombie shooter game. You have an axe in your hand and you can do this basic thing in unity like when you click the ax the axe just tilts and moves show it look um, making it look as though you're hitting something to do that you just need simple animation in unity you don't need to do anything uh, complex so yeah so I'll, I'll just make it into like an axe shape just to show you guys um okay um that seems okay. So yeah, here we're holding an axe in our hand. Now, if you want to hit, we'll just make an animation where we an animation you want to do. So you have to, you need to code for that as well. So once you say I'm hitting a cube, the axe animation is just going to go like this, like boom, boom, hitting it. So yeah, that's about it. And about the shadow thing, you, um, you don't need to have Unity Pro to make a shadow. If you, if it's a model just standing there, you can use a dark texture just to make just to make a fake shadow like um, illusion basically. So yeah, you can get these textures of Google and just import them in, into the folder and stuff. Then you'll have them. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to watch my next tutorial. I'll be showing you a lot more on how you can make your game stylish and put designs in and everything. I won't be showing you the actual animations and coding, but I will show you the, the how you can blend different things in together, how you can make different designs and stuff. It's mainly about design. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.